In this video, I'm going to walk you through solving the Alex problem called interconverting atmospheres in kilopascals. This is a unit conversion problem um, dealing with pressures of gases. So we're going to just make a list over here of all of the different relationships between all of the different units of pressures that we use for gases. One atmosphere is equal to 101,325, 101,325 pascals. One atmosphere is equal to 760 torr. And one atmosphere is also equal to 760 millimeters of mercury, which means that one torr is equal to one millimeter of mercury. And last but not least, one kilopascal is equal to 1,000 pascals. And I think from this particular problem, the only real conversion that you're going to be using is atmospheres to pascals and then pascals to kilopascals, just kind of based off the name. But it never hurts to have all these conversion factors handy because you never know what kind of question Alex might ask. In this problem, I am being given the pressure unit uh, 0.1663 atmospheres and being asked to convert this into units of kilopascals, which means that I want the units of atmospheres to be down on the bottom so that they cancel. There's a lot of other information in this problem. Uh, it's given us a temperature. And that's information that we do not need to solve this problem. It's talking about vapor pressure. You might not even know what that is. Again, don't even need to worry about that. This is really just a unit conversion problem, converting atmospheres into kilopascals. So let's take a look at all of the different conversion factors that we have. The one that looks the best is atmospheres to pascals. That's not exactly what we're looking for, but we do have a relationship between pascals and kilopascals. So this would be the best step for us to take. One atmosphere is 101,325 pascal. And then in one more step, we'll put the Pascal unit down on the bottom, kilopascal unit up on top, 1,000 pascals is one kilopascal. Let's just make sure that all of these units are gonna cancel. That just is a way of confirming that we've set this problem up. And now we're ready to do the math. 0.1663 times 101.325 divided by 1,000 gives us 16.85 kilopascals. Alex wants the problem to four significant figures, 16.85.